Hello my resinist friends, in this video we will see how to do a coaster with a gradient effect but the explanation in powder or paste pigment. And first thing first, I will do my homemade mold with 100% silicone or cold silicone and I will use um, acetate sheet as a base. I will use a bag for this comes out in a good quantity. And now I will take a little bit of hand soap with water to shape the edge. Be careful to let the base super clean with no rest of silicone. I know guys, you already have a ton of videos in English to explain how to do a coaster, but I hope to add something to your knowledge with this video. I will tell you something that maybe you already know and it's that the resin weight is different when you pigment the resin with powder or with paste, with pigment paste. I want you to see how much pigment I'm using because the saturation of the resin, I don't know in English the correct name for saturating um, something. I'm trying to say when you put so much pigment that a base or a resin is saturated with this one. And now you're wondering why this is important and it's because when you saturate a resin the effect will be different if you do it or if you don't. So this is not so much pigmented but this is for a reason. I will let you know my first mistake and it's that my base or my table wasn't leveled and this made the coaster lose the form inside but the important thing here is that you put the resin in the same quantity all around the edge so here's the explanation when you dye the resin with paste pigment it weighs more than when you pigment it with powder. This causes the paste pigment to sink to the bottom and expand at the bottom, leaving the paste pigment on the surface. Now that the paste push the powder to the top, then this will run out to the center, leaving a gradient effect. You can add more resin as you need it and in the same position than before. Then my mistake was that I didn't level the surface and the resin start to move and I tried to put a little bit more of pigment in that area and uh, more resin I'm sorry and that was a mistake because we lost the form but now that you have my mistake you don't have to do it. <laughs> so I will warm a little bit the resin to help the pigment come over to the surface. Here I'm trying to see if the alcohol ink weighed less or more than the powder but I saturate again the resin because I put four drops. So I was trying to know what will happen. Uh, I didn't like that much the results with this one, but um, it's for learning. <laughs> so in this coaster, I am using pigment powder and alcohol ink. You 
you can see in the pink coaster how the paste pigment is pushing the powder pigment. I tried to put more resin to compensate that it was uneven, but it turned out bad. Now I will just add a little bit of gold leaf. By the way, in the last video someone um, complained about my bad English. So I really hope you can understand what I'm trying to say in this video. I'm so sorry. I tried to do a flower but the pigment powder expands over the alcohol ink and it's because I saturate the resin with alcohol ink. Here we can see how important it is to level the surface because we will lose a little bit of the form that we was looking for. But we still have a gradient effect. As you know, my beloved friends, uh, in Spanish there is not so much videos about this and I will do a little bit more. If you want those videos in English, please let me know because you know my English sucks and I don't want to lose my time trying to do something that no one will see. So please, if this was helpful, leave a comment or subscribe. In the end of this video, you will see what a level surface can do for us. In this moment, I will just sand the edges and we do a good mold so we don't have so much to sand. In my country it doesn't exist the liquid gold but this is more or less the same. It is not base water and it's resistant, resistant enough. So here is the thing. This one was made in a leveled surface but in the first one I used more powder pigment and the white halo come out good. In the second one, I saturate the paste pigment and this open these cells over here. It was so saturated that the powder opened. So this is another trick that you can use in your coasters. And I just want to say thank you for your time and thank you for letting me know that you are here watching this. Thank you, thank you, thank you 
see you in the next video and don't forget to subscribe share like or do something see you the next time bye bye